Hello children, really lovely to be with you today. This is Father John, um, I'm really glad to be with you, and this is Sophie, who is the church dog. Welcome here to Holy Cross. Now today I'm going to tell you about Lent. Now Lent is the time of preparation before Easter. Now Lent is 40 days long. 40 is a hugely important number. In the Old Testament, the old part of the Bible, sorry, are you getting bored, Sophie? Hard luck. In the Old Testament, uh, the old part of the Bible, there were, uh, the children of Israel were in the desert for 40 years. And also, if you remember the story of Noah, when Noah was in the ark on the, the water, and it rained and it poured for 40 days and 40 nights. And then in the story of Jonah, when Jonah is in the belly of the whale for 40 days and 40 nights. And then in the New Testament, when Jesus is driven out into the wilderness and he's tempted for guess how many days? 40 days. And so 40 was hugely significant. And so Lent, we have 40 days of Lent now. Sundays are always special days. Sundays don't actually count as part of Lent. So if we have six weeks, six sixes are 36, and so you've got 36 days of Lent, but it means that we're four days short. So that's why Lent always starts on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, always starts on a Wednesday so that we can have 40 days altogether. Now, the day before Lent is always Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Day. How many of you had pancakes at the beginning? How many had pancakes? I had pancakes. How many like pancakes? I like pancakes. And so the reason for that is because what used to happen was that in the 40 days of Lent, people were supposed to fast, which meant that they weren't supposed to have dairy products like uh, milk or butter or eggs. And so what they did at the beginning of Lent, on the day before Lent, on Shrove Tuesday, they would get all their eggs and butter and milk and use them all up and make great big piles of pancakes. And so I've got here um, a rather nice pancake that I'm going to have a go at pancake tossing. Have you had a go at pancake tossing? I'm not particularly good at this, so I don't know how it's going to go. All right, you're going to count with me. Three, two, one, go away! Well, it didn't turn over. Let's have another go. Three, two, one, wee! Oh, yes, it did! That one worked better, hooray. One more for good luck. Three, two, one, wee! Oh! Sophie, do you want a pancake? I think Sophie will like that pancake. She'll spend the rest of the time eating it. So, after pancake day, when you and Sophie will have eaten all the pancakes, that didn't last long, Sophie, did it? Day after Ash Wednesday is the, mar is the beginning of Lent. And so what we do is we burn palm crosses. We'll talk more about Palm Sunday on another assembly. But we burn the palm crosses like this and they turn into ash. And the ash that we have, like that, we then mix it with water, and then we make the sign of the cross on our foreheads and say, dust thou art, and to dust thou shalt return. It's dramatic, isn't it? And so that is Lent, and this is the beginning of Lent. And so we have six weeks as we wait for Lent to come to the end of Lent, and we come to Holy Week, we come to Palm Sunday, and we come to Good Friday, and then we come to Easter Day itself. But all that is another story for later. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to walk the journey of Lent, 
Through these 40 days, may we know that Jesus is with us. And as we look towards Holy Week and Easter, may we know that your love is with us always. We pray for our school, for our families, our friends, our carers, pray for our teachers, and we pray that we may truly be your people full of love and joy. Let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God walk with us in this Lent and always, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now. And at Easter. Amen. Bye-bye.